Hey guys, welcome to day 123 of my carnivore journey. And I just wanted to give a shout out to all you guys, the new subs, um, and just the people that comment on my stuff on a regular basis. I mean, you guys are amazing. And I'm just telling you, it, it really helps me every day. And thank you guys so much for the feedback. I guess a lot of you want me to keep doing my daily vlog. So I'm going to keep doing my daily vlogs. <laughs> I'll try to entertain you every day if I can. And, but, um, but guys, I um, just wanted to share with you today. Um, I'm going to try to keep this update fairly quick. I, I bet you guys can't guess what I had. It's, it was a one pound burger. <laughs> I know. Um, boring, right? But I can't help it. It's like, I'm, I've got it down to a really good, not really science, but almost. And it's just, they come out so good. They're easy to eat. They just, they keep me filled. And I've been losing weight and still staying satisfied. Now, I had a couple hard-boiled eggs around lunchtime. And I even had a few pepperonis. I had like, I don't know, 12 or so. Like, they were like leftover and this was like an hour after I had the hard boiled eggs, ooh, hard boiled eggs. But like, I was like, I saw the pepperonis and I'm like, hey, I could go for a few pepperonis right now. And I did. And this was nice. And then I had the one pound burger for, for dinner and it was great. Loved it. I want to start picking some carnivore recipes and trying them out. So I want you guys, if you guys see specific ones that you're like, hey, I'd like to know about this recipe right here. I'll be your guinea pig and I will film it and, you know, see. So we'll, we'll recreate some, some carnivore dishes. And, and I know it's already been done by some other channels and whatnot, but I know you, know, maybe you guys might want to hear my take on them. I'm, I'm going to be pretty blunt. Usually like I'm not going to sugarcoat stuff. So, you know, me, I'll tell you how, how I feel about it. And, um, my hair is a little crazy. It's it's kind of poofy. Um, like I'm, I was trying to really condition it extra because I'm getting ready to probably cut it a little bit. Like I got to trim, trim it up a little bit. So, um, uh, so yeah, I just let you know about my hair. But yeah, the recipe thing. I like one of the things I'm I'm dying to try is the carnivore mac and cheese. Um, from Chris cooking Nashville. I really want to do, that's going to be one of my first videos of, of those. And I'm going to do it for you guys. I'm going to make it and I'll let you guys, you know, I'll tell you, I'll give you the honest take on it. Um, and in fact, it's, it's because of his carnivore mac and cheese that I even ordered the egg white <laughs> protein powder stuff. So, um, but yeah, I'm looking forward to that. I hope you guys do are too. Um, if you want to definitely see those, those type of videos, let me know if, if you're just kind of like, ah, I don't really need to see other recipes, but I would like to try some myself. I would like to, cause I have experimented with a few of them, you know, like when I did in the past. Um, and, uh, and, and I'd love to see. So anyways, um, as far as news goes, don't really have a lot to tell you guys. I just been dealing with a lot of things on a personal level. Um, other than that, not a whole lot inspiration wise. What do you guys think? An inspirational quote today, since we don't have a lot to talk about. Um, oh, and I want to talk about, there is something I do want to talk about. I have to bring this up every so often because we get people every so often that say dumb things. So guys, if you watch this video and, and a lot of times, you you probably the, the people that make these comments probably don't watch the video to be honest with you but if you're going to comment and you're going to make a long post about there's no science behind carnivore and blah 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 and you're going to talk shit about carnivore let me just stop you and say that your comments going to get deleted Sorry. I mean, like, I don't mind healthy debate, but if you're just going to come in and and trash it and then try to say, like, and just say that some doctor, because some doctor said so, like, we already know in the community, like the carnivore community, we already know what a lot of 
doctors say. We know about a lot of these mainstream doctors, and we know a lot of the research and actual science behind things. And so you can't justify a standard American diet using science. You can't. You cannot justify it using science. I'm sorry. You can try to sit there and say, oh, this and this and the American Heart Association and, and these doctors, blah, blah, blah. Show me the actual studies. Show it to me. Show me the proof. Don't just tell me that there's that it's out there. Okay? Go find it because you're going to go down a rabbit hole and then you're going to realize, shit, there is no real science behind what I'm trying to say has science. So I just want to get that out, out, out there. And, and maybe this quote here might apply to some of you that may be thinking about carnivore. This is from Brian Tracy. I don't know who that is. It is move out of your comfort zone. You can only grow if you are willing to feel awkward and uncomfortable when you try something new. Okay. Move out of your comfort zone. You can only grow if you are willing to feel awkward and uncomfortable when you try something new. So maybe in your case, and I try to relate it back to carnivore, right? Because this is a carnivore channel um, or my weight loss channel. But, you know, for some of you that may be thinking about this, or maybe you might even have started to try carnivore and, and it feels a little awkward, you know, and, and uncomfortable because you're like programmed to want vegetables and maybe even sugar and all this other stuff. And it may it feel a little different. And again, out of your comfort zone, like it, it's, it's easy to make these like well-rounded meals. You know what I mean? Um, where it's like, hey, I got some meat, I got some mashed potatoes, I got me some green beans, you know, here you go. You have to to readjust your thinking, and it, it can be a little awkward, it can be a little uncomfortable at times. But even in life in general, I mean, it's like my journey right now. As I go more and more through filming and becoming more of a director and more of a producer and, and writer and things like that, like, the, I have to just keep getting out there and film whenever I take time off. Like right now, because I took time off for my health, it's like I'm awkward around my camera equipment now <laughs> and, and things like that. But once I get back into it, I'm going to be, you know, once you get yourself, you, you, you know, you, you just got to get out of that comfort zone, get back into, into things and, 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 and go through that awkwardness, go through that uncomfortableness, and just get back out there. But there is something to be said. Once you get past that and you get in the zone, it's so awesome, right? So, all right. Anyways, all right, guys. I will see you tomorrow, day 124. I love you guys. I hope you're doing well today, and I hope that you're hanging in there. Um because again, I love hearing so many of you have these success stories. I don't want you just to disappear on me and be like, well, you know, I kind of failed. I don't want to, I don't want to look Josh in the eye. <laughs> Guys, stick around, you know, and, and tell me your stuff when 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 you come across these milestones and or your or your struggles. I mean, I'm you know, I'm here for you. So all right, guys, we'll see you tomorrow. Bye.